Today, I'm gonna be trying the controller settings of the best players in 2022. Now, I did just recently do a video on the best competitive controller setting, and in that video, I actually tried Miro, Re, and Illis, but the PR leaderboard has since changed a little bit, and we have some new names near the top, so I need to go and try their controller settings. And those players are going to be Day, Hufishi, and Knight. Now, pretty much every controller player knows who Day is at this point. He's up there with the best of the best controller players. And then we have Hufishi, who is also pretty known. However, Hufishi doesn't like really stream or anything so it's kind of hard to follow him but there's quite a few people that still know who he is and then we get to Knight. When I saw Knight's name on the PR leaderboard I recognized it instantly. He's someone that has constantly been placing in tournaments but similar to Hufish he doesn't really post YouTube videos or stream at all so it's really hard to follow him and really know who he is. However I worked a little bit of magic and spent some time and found all these guys recent chapter 3 controller settings and of course we're gonna hop in and try them out. As always before I do that if you wouldn't mind giving the video a like it's greatly appreciated and if you're new around here and like this sort of content then subscribe to the channel thank you guys all right so our first player here is obviously going to be day out of the three players day has the most pr currently day is going to be on a 0.1 slide hold time 1.9 for both build and edit down to look sense we have 43 percent for both horizontal and vertical with no look boost and then down to ads sense he's on nine percent for both ads horizontal and vertical and again no boost no look damping time he's over on linear and then down to dead zones he's on 9% for both left and right stick. I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna like Day's settings because they're actually pretty similar to what I typically use. For as long as I can remember, Day has been on a lower sense, and that's exactly why I absolutely love trying his settings, because I find that I always like him. That was terrible. I'm still just warming up here though, we're chilling. Let's go. That's one of my favorite parts about low sense. Let's go. That was risky. We're hitting these shots though, that's all that matters. Look at that beam. <laughs> Let's go. That must have been a bot or something. Hey, I'll take it though. Day settings are definitely impressing me right now. These are better than like what I normally use. And I'm playing on paddles right now. Day actually plays right hand claw. The fact that these settings actually work so well is pretty cool. Okay, that was a little ridiculous. Just as I was hyping the settings up, I do that. Let's go. Oh, another one. They're both low for me. Ooh, that was such a bad idea. Let's go. I really need some white heels. No chance. That's how I lose that game. That's so unfortunate. Those settings were actually super solid and I did pretty well with them. Couldn't get that win because I got third party there. But I think it is time we move on to the next player who has the next best PR and that's Who Fishy. So Who Fishy is also on a 0.1 slide hold time. He uses 2.3 for both build and edit. Down to look sense, he's also on 43% for both horizontal and vertical look speed with no look boost. ADS sense, he's a little higher than day at 12% for both of them with no boost, no look dampening time, linear, and then again, 9-9 nine, nine for the dead zones. So it looks like our build, edit, and ADS sense is a little faster. Let's see what that does for us. Let's go. So far, the aim hasn't been as accurate, but at the same time, it hasn't been terrible. 
Let's go. That aim is still so good, even when we're up a little bit on the ADS sense. I think Hoomfishy as a player is just kind of interesting in general, because like I said, no one really follows him because they can't because he doesn't stream or post videos. But I definitely know he's been around for a while, and I honestly didn't think that he was still up there with like the top of the top pros. Oh, look at that aim. Let's go. I had one pretty decent game on day's settings, and now they're just matching me up against Street Sweat. No way. Why was there someone up here? Let's go. Dude didn't even shoot, and I still took damage. <laughs> that was so perfect. That peace control though, let's go. You know, the building edit sensor now doesn't even feel bad. No way I got that kill, let's go. Definitely some super solid aim going on. I like the ADS sense. Honestly, I like all the settings. There's only a couple times where I feel like they've been too fast. And I think that's mainly with the edit and build sense. Mm, I might've just lost it for myself. I just took so much damage. Let's go. All odds against me, 12 HP. Got the 12 kill win. Those are some pretty solid settings. But now it is time for the last settings of the video, and those are from Knight. So for Knight's settings, we have a bit of a switch up. At a 0.2 second slide hold time, which is pretty far up there. Then I'm build and edit 2.1. Look sense 50% horizontal, 60% vertical, and again, no boost. ADS sense 11% for both horizontal and vertical with no boost. Look damping time, nothing. And then we are on exponential for Knight. That'll definitely be pretty interesting to try in the dead zones, 10 on left seven on right i'm pretty sure that these settings are actually like super similar to reeds i'm almost positive re also used a 50 and 60 look sense and then he also plays exponential Okay, I somehow got out of that spawn. I have no idea how. This exponential stuff definitely feels pretty strange. Dude, what is happening? That look sense is just not it. I don't know how Knight does it, especially with this SMG spray meta. That is literally so difficult to control. It literally feels like high sense without aim assist. I don't even know that I want to go back in and try those settings again. So I think I'm going to leave off on that. Days in Hoofishy settings, definitely super solid. Give them a shot if you want. I would probably suggest that you stay away from Knight settings. I don't know. Maybe they just take a lot more getting used to, but I'm not a fan. So those are the settings. Hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to catch you in a future video.